So we back with another video. Today we got y'all boys with the TakeOver tier list. Now we already gave y'all the bad tier list. We had some discrepancies on that. We will be trying to do even better on the TakeOver tier list. Now, this video we're going to be ranking every single one of them. There's 71 takes. I think Mike Wayne may have said it was 72, but I only counted 71. Now, I also will be ranking all 14 of the TakeOver abilities. Now, encapsulating everything into one, you got the attribute bonuses, you got the TakeOver ability, and you got the attribute requirements. We'll be going over all of that in this video. If you do want more videos like this, make sure to like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Further ado, let's hop into it. Let's go! Hey, before we hop too far in the video, if you haven't liked the video, today's my birthday. So if you do anything, leave a like. I would really appreciate it because I spent a lot of time making this video. I'm serious. All right, so hopping into it. Now I ain't even going to get too far into it. Let's get the monkey out the way. When I did this for the badges, it was hard to see. I tried to make it easier to see for this. Not easy. It's still not that easy to see. I'm not even going to lie. So the best way I say to go about this is being honest. You probably got to listen to what I'm saying, but you can, you should be able to see the names of the takeovers. So if you see the names, you can kind of just put together the attribute boost and the takeovers. Now we'll be ranking the takeover abilities as well in this video. So yeah, I'll probably do that first to make it simple for you guys to break down, but I will be doing the takeovers as a whole. So yeah, I wanted to make sure to get that out the way. I understand that the badges was harder to see. You just kind of have to listen to what I'm saying a little bit more so than I guess you would probably like. I did, I will be doing another badge one Probably not season one, season two, but that was only going to just be like the logos for the text. So it's easier, more legible and stuff like that for the video, for the people that want to just see the takeovers and stuff like that. But yeah, that's pretty much how this video is going to go. Um, hopefully you guys understand. I did my best trying to get this stuff. I did all this by myself the day before my birthday, by the way. But yeah, no more talking. Let's hop into it. All right. Let's hop into it. So we have the takeover abilities first. Let's rank these in order. All right, so let's narrow this down first to the takeover abilities. Now, this is just going to be simply me ranking when you get level five and getting your takeovers. Now, if you don't know this year, you actually have to upgrade every single takeover. Like, say, for instance, you get this takeover unlocked, you have to actually unlock this other takeover. Even if it is having the same takeover ability, you have to unlock each separate takeover. Ten games for level four. 15 games for level 5. Simple as that. Now, at every single one of these, you do get attribute boost, but we'll get into that more so when we rank the takeovers. Now, takeover abilities. First one, we have the interior force. This is just going to pretty much increase your success rate for dunking and finishing under the basket. Now, I'm not going to lie. Interior force, I thought was really more so for standing dunks, but this actually improves your ability to dunk in general. So, this is actually really good. This improves your ability to make layups and make dunks. I thought it was more so for standing dunks and standing layups, but that's not all it does. So with that being said, finishing, and there's a lot of RNG. I will also, I want to say this, y'all do want that next video. The next video should be the review of NBA 2K25. It's a lot of stuff going on in terms of the shooting and hot topics of what things people think should be patched. I will be going over everything in that video of what I think the pros, the cons, the positives, the negatives of the game, the state of this is right now. Do I like the game? Do I don't? Now, with that being said, interior force, um, a lot of RNG on the finishing right now. Um, I think the success rate of it can vary build to build. You just got to have the right things on settings-wise, layup-wise. I think you'll be very overpowered on this game. Dunking is not very overpowered in my opinion. I would say increasing the success rate of dunking is pretty good, but there are things that you can take people out of still, even with this. I would have to say usable. With all that being said, I would still have to say usable. And that's B for me. Now, let's go over the tiers. I didn't go over the tiers. S is pretty much, you should, you, it's a must have. A is really, really good. B, I can see people using it depending on the build and stuff like that. C is okay. D is bad. No Fs. Um, the takeovers are obviously not as balanced as like takeovers of years past because they've introduced a whole new system. But lethal layup, this is improves the ability to finish tough layups and floaters in traffic. So this is pretty much just making dumb layups. Pretty much what it is. Um, 
you already make pretty crazy layups without this with this it gets really wild so i'll say if you have a layer build and to get most of these that's gonna have this you have to have pretty high requirements to even get certain stuff you have to have certain requirements to even unlock certain takeovers so i'm pretty sure you're gonna have a certain layup to even have this so i'll say lethal layup i'll say b Okay, lethal layup. Improves the ability to finish tough layups, floaters, and traffic. If you have a layup on your build, you're probably going to be doing that already at a pretty high rate, depending on the settings that you do have on your layups. Um, so, I'll say this is one that, like, if you're already doing it without it, how important is having the takeover? And going through getting takeover in this game already takes a lot. Is it worth the while, in my opinion? Not really, because if you're making layups, you're already going to be making them. So that's what my kind of deal is there. I would probably more so want to make something easier that's already kind of hard. So lethal layup, I can see people using it, especially people with really high layups. You're already making a lot of layups. You're probably going to put this on. But yeah, I'll put lethal layup at B. Marksman, enhances standstill perimeter shooting boost ability to get open. Now, this is something that's pretty odd because when you use it it honestly doesn't feel like it makes any difference on how easy it is to shoot so i actually have a theory it actually boosts your ability to make contested shots if that's what it does then okay i understand it but the boost ability to get open i personally haven't noticed this i'm guessing this is more so off ball than on ball and even then i haven't noticed that so honestly marksman it does is a sharp take but personally it doesn't seem to really affect it the way that you would think i'm thinking especially when i was struggling shooting on this game i'm thinking this is gonna bail me out when i want to be able to shoot i'm knocking it down my green window gonna be exponentially bigger or whatever no that's not a thing if you're already missing you're breaking with this it's just that simple so yeah marksman is not gonna bail you out the only thing that's keeping it from being D is the fact that it may genuinely help you hit contested more. Because I ain't gonna lie, I did hit more lightlies with this for sure. But if you're missing, you're missing. If you're making, you're making. It's not going to drastically change anything, in my opinion. Um, so, yeah. Blur. This is one of the takeovers that's actually one of the more overpowered takeovers in the game. This is gonna only say enhances the ability to drive by defenders making it easier to get to the rim but what it doesn't say is it actually does take ankles now i was saying in the badge takeover or badge tier list that there's no takeover that takes ankles somebody had to show this to me personally that this takes ankles so yes blur takes ankles it already bro getting past defenders is a really big deal in this game it opens a lot of different things because a lot of people don't even guard people shooting Having a full takeover that just allows you to just blow by anybody and get an easy point is pretty overpowered. So I would personally have to say this is S tier. And then you throw in the fact that it takes ankles, it's easily S tier. Rim Guardian boosts ability to fend around the basket in the post. Right now, today, Rim Guardian is easily an S tier take. It's not even really much to say. If you played this game, a lot of people have had an issue with the layups that go in in the paint. And I've I, I, I seen Power talk about this with the shooting um but the layups that go in on this game i think that the layups that go in on this game that shouldn't is really more on a make or miss percentage that's kind of more to the nba so like finishing around the rim in the nba that's really good is like 75 percent at the rim so i think 2k is trying to match that and try to be close to that and close to the three point shootings in the nba the mid-range and all that obviously everybody's not going to shoot 35 percent for three the whole year i think people are already shoot starting to shoot 60 percent for three and stuff like that but what i'm saying is i think they're trying to make it more similar to the real life but that's pretty annoying playing people and playing perfect defense and the ball goes in i will be honest so i do i will say if you want to negate that completely rim guardian is a very good thing and it also does improve your ability to get blocks so yeah if you remember like the rim takes from years past it's kind of crazy how these takeover abilities, some of these kind of split things up from years past, but then you have something like this that has all of the rim takes in one, and that's a really good takeover ability. Next is Dishmaster. Dishmaster is something that just improves people's shooting ability. Now, this is a take that in 
theory is gonna make people shoot better. But it's kind of like marksmen, where if people are missing, they're missing. Now, the only thing I'll say is, it does, in my experience, actually help people shoot. It's not like Dimer, where it changes people's shot timing. Um, it also does improve your passing ability, which is another thing that it doesn't say. It improves your pass speed, which is another thing that it doesn't say, which is pretty important if you played this game with the passing legs. So, in my opinion, is it S? No, but I would put it A. Because I do think it is very good. I just don't think it's overpowered or just 100% necessary. You could argue it because of passing lanes. But this next one is definitely. Now, this is one that you could really argue is a S plus takeover. Because, spoiler. I don't even. This is not all of them. Okay, okay, I was I was actually tripping. Okay, I just had to scroll down. Okay, spoiler. High efficiency on on ball and pass lane steals. If you play passing lanes, already ridiculous. You put this on, what are we talking about? On ball steals are not very easy. You put this on, you're gonna get pokes. Pokes are gonna be much easier. And I'm gonna be honest, pokes are not hard to get on this game, to be honest with you. You can definitely get pokes on this game. It's just a lot more skill. It's more so how it was always supposed to be based off when the person is finna dribble. Now, there are some times where you don't get it when you probably should. There's some times you don't get bumps when you should. But when you put this on, it goes and it kind of becomes a little bit more so how it has been in years past where you can take it off of anybody. So yeah, spoiler is a pretty overpowered one. I would probably have to say this one is in the S tier. Personally, I think Rim Guardian is more important. Spoiler is more overpowered. Blur is an interesting one because you can kind of neutralize Spoiler by just blowing by people. You can take people's ankles that have Spoiler. So I would say Blur would still go above it. Deep Post Bag, you can just read it. It's pretty much the post take. It's going to go in S. Very overpowered. And if you played this game, finishing around the rim is very, 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 very 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 good if you have a really high close shot really high standing dunk so yes i will say deep post bag s tier um you could really argue this is the top of s but i don't think i'm gonna be honest with the way bigs are this year with pump fix being as good as they are in the paint i'm gonna be honest you may have to nerf that little hands up defense where if people pump fake you can just make them jump auto they may have to nerf that actually i'm gonna actually have to put that at the top because that little pump fake stuff people you can make people do is kind of crazy Deep Bomber, this is one I'm probably, it's probably my favorite takeover I've used so far. It extends your like, shooting ability well beyond the three-point line. Now, this is another one that doesn't 100% help you shoot. But the benefit of being able to shoot from limitless range is pretty overpowered. I would have to put that A. But again, if you're not shooting well on this game, you're not going to have Deep Bomber and just be able to shoot well it's not gonna bail you out but the ability to shoot from much deeper is kind of crazy you can pretty much shoot as soon as you cross half as soon as you cross half it's really really it's not hard it's not like the green window it's pretty big green window you can do anything from within the half court at that point once you have deep bomber activated and it's very good another thing i'll say about it is kind of harder for it to deactivate on misses because i missed two times and i still had it so that was another thing i'll say poster machine amplifies overall dunking ability and makes skilled dunks easier so this is pretty much precision dunker while also making you be able to dunk easy or better um honestly doesn't make skilled dunks auto that's a pretty big deal in my opinion like you can like just like if you're playing the game right now you can get taken out of dunks you can get taken out of poster machine dunks i have a 99 dunk build i will be uploading soon um you can get taken out of 99 dunk builds Post machine, you can get taken out of post machine, 99 dunk builds, 90 vertical. So, yes, um, I would personally have to say post machine is C tier. It may be lower. I honestly played somebody in starting fives, by the way. Shout out to bro. He didn't miss a single dunk, skill dunk the whole game. And I had Wimby on my team. He was just destroying Wimby the whole game. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what that was about. That was very crazy. That was very crazy. So, I don't know if bro was zitting. I ain't gonna lie. Bro wasn't really missing nothing. So, I don't know what that was about. 
I don't know what that was about. But yeah, everybody else I've played, contact dunks seem pretty tough to come by if you're going against somebody with a high dunk. So, yeah. That's the only person I've seen that has figured out that. And I'm, mind you, I'm taking people out of dunks on a lot of my builds, and I have like 60 block. So, yes. Something needs to happen on the blocks taking people out of dunks. Something needs to happen. I'm going to be honest. It does. Silky shooter, easier to make perimeter shots off the dribble and boost shot chance off anchor breakers. So, boost shot chance off anchor breakers. If you pl ha play guard on this game, you kind of understand how much ankle breakers have the frequency of it is very high on this game fading in this game is genuinely almost impossible to get contest on making it easier to make shots off the dribble is a pretty big deal even if it's not drastic but making shots more off of anchor breaker is another big deal because those are two things that are already hard to stop the only thing is, when I say this, shooting is already just like a kind of a hot take thing. So if you're already not really good at shooting off the dribble, I seen somebody say it's clunky in my comments of the fade or shot creator animation video. So if you're already struggling, it's not going to bail you out. That's the only thing I'll say, but I'll still put it A. I'll still put it A. Because I'm going to be honest, like fading is really overpowered in this game. So if you haven't figured out, it's going to be very good for you. See the future shows you where missed shots will land ahead of time. Hmm. This is a very interesting one because for all the glass news out there, just the ability to know if people are making or missing. Not really important on this game because a lot of people are struggling shooting. I'm going to be honest though. Me personally, the people I'm playing against, they're knocking it. I don't know what it is about me, but I'm going against the teams that's knocking it down. So that's that. Um, I'm seeing a lot of people complaining about shooting. I hope though I wish I could play some of y'all sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I'm in sweat fest every game. Feels like. And I'm I feel like I've figured out shooting. So I don't know. Um, but see the future. I think offensive rebound is pretty over, like pretty important this year because people are struggling to shoot. A lot of guys I play with struggle to shoot. So I think rebounding on both ends is pretty important. And just knowing where the ball is going to be before other people is kind of nice to know. Now, I'm going to be honest, I can kind of see that already. But the rebounds are so random this year that this is even more important than ever. So I would have to say, I want to put it B because it is more of a usable thing. But I'm going to put it I'm gonna put it A because rebounds are so random this year. And then we have Vice Stonewalls Defenders into more four stops, pickups, fumbles, and bodying them up. So... If you want to take that's going to pretty much neutralize those legend lightning lunch builds, those five nines that can just blow by anybody. To, because, bro, I'm going to be honest. Like, legend lightning lunch with really high speed ball is really, really broken. It's really, really broken. It is. Like, high speed ball in this game is really overpowered. It just is. Um, Vice is, like, the best way to cancel that out. And you've seen what's the number one takeover ability or number two, Blur. You can try to cancel that one out, too, with Vice. I would personally put Vice behind spoiler because obviously steals are just very overpowered in the game especially passing lanes you could really argue this over both of these honestly i would put this here think about it but yeah and then vice would be right there because yeah honestly i'll probably put it like that then we have black aid this is a takeover ability that is again it's just gonna be overpowered for screens if you played this game a lot of people use screens i barely went against iso this year um because the dribbling, I'm going to be honest, there's a skill gap in everything this year. Like, slashers have a skill gap this year, for sure. Dribbling has a sh for sure skill gap after watching Steve, though, for sure. Um, shooting is definitely a skill gap after, based off all the complaints. Interior defense has a skill gap. Locks have a skill gap because, like, bro, I'm telling you, like, people that know how to poke, people that know how to bump steal, just not the people. Like, I feel like the pass lanes like, may not have the craziest skill gap compared to, like, everything else for locks. But the bumpy locks are really, like, when you play a real lock on this game, you feel it. You feel it. But, yeah, uh, Blockade, I would probably more so have to say, I would probably more so have to say, I must say for Blockade S. Um, and I'm going to put it, honestly, above Rim Guardian. I don't think y'all understand how overpowered screens are this year. If you get hit by, you can get sucked into a screen. I lost a game from trying to foul somebody that didn't have, uh, what's it called? 
But before I could press the button, I was moving my stick at all. All I did was held LT, and the man completely dragged me into the screen, and the man hit a three. Genuinely. That's how I lost. Like, genuinely. I can't make it up. But, yeah, screens are pretty crazy this year, um, especially if, you, if you have, you're playing with the right bigs. Now, if you're playing with the wrong bigs that don't know how to screen, you may, those screens not sticking. I'm not going to cap. Screens even got a skill gap this year. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of funny. I'm not going to lie. Um, but blockade, if you just want to turn that whole skill gap off and just knock people into oblivion, because there's literally no takeover ability that counters this. Vice doesn't counter it. Um, spoiler doesn't counter it. There's just blockade. So, yeah. You already have Pick Dodger that's losing the war against Brick Wall. But he's still good this year, I will say that. But he's still losing the war against Brick Wall. You not only have that, but you have a full-blown takeover ability. That's an S-tier ability. Yeah, those are the takeover abilities ranked. Those are the 1 through 14. You could really argue Post Machine and D. Not too mad at it, but that would be my tier list of the takeover abilities. If you just don't want to hear no explanation, just want to see it like this, here you go. Hopefully, y'all can see this. If you don't, my bad. I'm sorry. I did my best. All right, now here. Now we have the takeovers. Now, when I'm doing the takeovers, I barely can see this myself. I did my best trying to make it as legible as possible. I can kind of see it, actually, if I look closely. So I actually don't have to do what I thought I was going to do. But I know for a fact y'all most likely will not be able to see this. It is a lot of takeovers, so the more takeovers it will be, the less likely y'all be able to see it very legible. Hopefully you guys can see the actual names of each takeover, though. So at least if you see the names, you can kind of go into 2K and see what the takeover gives you in terms of the requirements and the boost. But I will go over each one of those for each takeover. So yes, let's hop into it. Above the rim, this is the takeover. You need an 85 driving dunk to be able to even equip. You get plus 5 driving dunk all the way to plus 15 at level 5, and you get poster machine. If you've seen what I said with the worst, takeover ability, poster machine. Off that alone, I have kind of went over what these tiers mean. Let me go over them again for people that didn't see that. S is pretty much the best of the best. A, arguably the best, but I would argue against it. B, usable, depending according to the build. C is, I don't know, man, why are you using it, I guess? And D, you shouldn't use. You shouldn't, you just should steer away. Um, above the rim. Um, If you're a build that has 84 driving dunk, you can get above the rim. You get plus 15, now you're at a 99. But the thing is, there's so many other ones that you get much better boosts from that may even have easier requirements. I don't really understand even having this. So personally, I would say C. And we haven't out I'm a, I'm a, I'm a honestly say D because we haven't even had Mike Wayne say that you can go above 99 this year. So I'm going to actually say D cuz I don't really see the point in using this. Like, I would only see the point in using this if you don't have level 4. Because if you just want to get plus 9 to your takeover at level 3 and not have anything else unlocked, okay. But I would really use those level 3 games to unlocking a different takeover. So, that would be my thing. Next is Bully. Requirement for this is 80 driving layup, 70 ball handle, 85 strength, I believe it says. Because I can barely see that myself. Um, and in the boost, you get plus 2 to layup and drop or to layup and ball handle all the way up to plus seven on strength layup and ball handle and you get lethal layup so for the layup builds out there this is going to be for you guys this is probably one of the better ones to be honest um for now i'll put it b but if we see some better ones i'll probably put that above it clinic clinic has silky shooter so this is one of the better takeover abilities I would say you get driving layup or you need driving layup in mid range and you need a three ball to have this. You get mid range three ball plus two at level one all the way up to plus seven layup mid range in three ball at level five with silky shooter. So I'm thinking about the bills that actually would need this. And that's going to be those smaller guard builds that may not be able to have as much dunk. So they would love to have that extra layup. So I'm going to be honest, this is not a bad one. Like for those builds that's like, 
putting up their having like high layup trying to be like a three level score they got the mid range they got the layups they got the three ball i think this is actually a pretty good takeover for those bills i would honestly lean a for clinic um i'm gonna actually say c for bully and i'm gonna say b for clinic i'm gonna say b for clinic personally chef this is mid range three ball ball handle now for this i think this is the one i use I think that says 90 ball handle so this can't be the one i use but it says you need mid-range three ball and ball handle i believe that says 93 ball 90 ball handle 85 mid-range i believe that's what it says if i'm wrong i'm wrong but with that being said it may be 80 mid-range or not mid-range 80 ball handle but i could be wrong but it says plus two mid-range and three ball up to plus seven on three ball mid-range and ball handle i know y'all barely probably can see that and you get deep bomber which is one of the best takeover perks in the game or not takeover breaks. Takeover abilities. I gotta get used to this. Chef, I'll probably have to say is an A tier. Getting ball handle, mid range, and three ball is pretty good. Honestly, I'm gonna say B for now. I think there's another takeover that I use, but I'm not 100% sure. If there isn't, that's the one I think I do use. And I'll put that up to A accordingly. Defensive presence. All right, so for defensive presence, you need a 70, a 80, and an 80 for steel. Or let's just say it like this 70 agility 80 block and 80 steel and you get plus two steel in block off rip at level one all the way to plus seven steel block and agility if you're a lock this is really good now the only thing i would say is if you're a lock you probably more so would rather perimeter defense but agility steel and block is just as good so if you got steel agility and perimeter defense i feel like locks would probably more so rather that but the takeover ability is kind of odd because I think as a lock, you probably would rather the vice takeover or the spoiler takeover ability. So I'm going to put, that's a tougher one because I think the plus three is one of the best you can have on a lock. Arguably the best, but the takeover ability don't really make sense. So I would put this in C. I'm going to put it behind bully. Diesel, Diesel, you need an 85 close shot, 85 standard dunk, 85 strength to have Diesel, plus two close shot, plus two standard dunk, level one, all the way to plus seven for all three at level five, and you get interior force. So this is for like the bully ball, big men, having high close shot, high standard dunk is already really overpowered. With this, you're probably going to be really, really good. I'd probably say this is more so A. That's probably the best thing you can have for the this interior force or diesel that's probably the best you could probably get or you could get vertical vertical is another one you could get instead of strength but strength is pretty good for inside this year i would say because strength is how you move people around in a post and stuff like that so that's probably really good diesel i mean dribble dribble wizard you need 85 ball handle and 80 speed with ball Anything that gives you speed with ball this year is probably almost automatically. Oh, okay. So I'm going to move this down to B. I'm going to actually move Deep Bomber above that and this because I actually think these takeover abilities are better. But anything that gives you speed with ball is arguably S tier. I'm not going to lie. For a guard, anything that pretty much gives you speed with ball is arguably an S tier. I'm not going to lie. Like, I don't think y'all understand, like, speed. Like, any increase you get to speed with ball, like, say, for instance, you're a guard with 91, you go up plus 8 here. You get 99 speed with ball at level 5. I don't think y'all understand how crazy you move with 99 speed with ball in this game. You're blowing by pretty much everybody. Everyone. So, yeah, I think that's pretty overpowered. And you get blurred with it. Yeah, I'm going to put that there. But I think there are better ones. So, I might actually put it A. Because I think you can put better stuff with it. But that speed ball is really good. Speed ball is very overpowered on this game. Very overpowered. Driving dunk, standing dunk, vertical. This is really good. You need 85 driving dunk, 70 standing dunk, and 70 vertical. You get post machine, which is one of the worst takeovers in the game. But the fact that you do get all three of those, I would put this one above it. Now you do get plus two to plus seven. You kind of get it. For the two, for the two, you're gonna get plus two to plus eight. For the three, you're going to get plus two to plus seven. If that makes sense, that makes sense. And you can't get more than three on any takeover ability. You can get one to three on any of these takeovers. 
Um, so I'm going to calm down actually explaining that because we went over one that has one, one that has two, one that has three. Now, driving dish. Driving dunk, driving layup, pass accuracy. You need 85 driving dunk, 80 driving layup, and 80 pass accuracy. You get post machine for this. Another one that I'm not really messing with, but having extra pass accuracy is another valuable thing in this game. Um, I don't feel like I don't feel the difference when I have the added ball handle, so I don't I'm not too high on that. Having the added three ball is nice to have, so you can have a little bit bigger green window for whatever millisecond you can add to your green window, you can do it. You should do it every time. Um I'm gonna actually put this down here to see. Thinking about it. There's like no extremely high importance thing you're getting here. In my opinion. So I'm going to actually put that C. Yeah, I'm going to put that C. I'm going to actually put this above. Ooh, getting agility on a lock is very good. So I'm going to actually put that higher. I'm going to put this higher. Yeah, that makes more sense to me. Okay. Now we're kind of getting a little bit more of an understanding how I'm ranking these tiers. Um, but for this, drama layup, pass accuracy. Pass accuracy is right on that, on that door, but I don't think the takeover... It gives enough to put it in B. I will put it there for now. For now. Next, you got driver. Driving dunk, ball handle. This is another one I would probably have to put more so to the... Oh, post machine actually has to go C because vertical is very important. Bro, I don't think y'all understand. Vertical actually improves your ability to dunk. You dunk faster. And, it, bro, I have a build with 40 like block i get way more blocks on that build with 40 blocks 90 vertical than i do with the build that has 60 block but 75 vertical vertical is very overpowered this gear it just is what it is so yeah i'm gonna put that there honestly i'm gonna put it here yeah i'm gonna put this here i'm gonna put this there i'm gonna put this there these two are raised depending on how good the other ones that have the takeover abilities are. If these, because then these takeover abilities would have to be like, it would be the best with the takeover ability, so it would obviously go higher based on that. Poster machine, there's a lot of post machines that we've went over so far. I don't even think there's an equal amount for every single takeover ability, by the way, so yeah. Um, but this has driving dunk and ball handle. This is one we was already going over. I would put this in D. Not really much to say there. Block, eraser, eraser, you pretty much get, this is the one that gives you plus 15 block. Block is pretty overpowered this year. So say, for instance, there's a lot of people making those six foot seven bigs that only can get 84 block. This is a lot more usable than Pulsar Machine because those six foot seven bigs as well need the better interior defense. This is honestly an S tier one. This is honestly an S tier one because... The only thing that those six, seven bigs are really missing, according uh, in comparison to all the other big men that are taller than it, is block and the ability to guard at the rim. This is not only getting that plus 15 block to get 99 block, but you're also getting the takeover ability that probably is the best one for those six for seven bigs. So I would actually say that's an easy S tier, in my opinion. I think that's an easy S tier. Um, ankle taker. Ankle taker. You need 80 driving layup. And by the way, you do need 84 block to get this. So that's why I said the only way you can even get this is if you have an 84. Now, for anything outside of a 6'7", it may not be as useful. But since a lot of you are making those 6'7 bigs, I've seen it. That's a pretty pretty good takeover. Um, driving layup, ball handle, super ball. You need 80 driving layup, 85 ball handle, 85 super ball. This is one that's really, really good. Um, blur, I would say this one is better. I would say this one is better. You're, you're getting the same thing as this, except you're getting driving layup two. It's like you're getting plus eight. I feel like they should have made the, the, the one that you get plus the two different ones. You should get more. You should be, it should be in the middle. It shouldn't be plus seven for three. Plus 15 for one, but plus eight for two. It should have been somewhere in the middle of 15 and seven. So more like 11. If this was 11, it would be much more used. 
but they didn't do that for some reason. Um, standing dunk, standing dunk is very overpowered this year. Do I think elevate is overpowered? No, no. So I would probably have to put this because the bills that's gonna have eighty four standing dunk. I can't even really imagine what those bills are. That's just a really peculiar number to go for unless you just literally went for it for this takeover and I don't think it's worth it. So I would probably have to say this one is a D. I would have to put this one in D. I'll put it here though. Because standing dunk is just more viable than driving dunk this year. Mid-range, perimeter defense, and post control. So this is silky shooter. This is a confusing one. You would get, it's called Fearless Focus. You need an 80 mid-range, 70 post control, and 85 perimeter defense to get this. That's a very weird combination, first off. But you do get Silky Shooter, so this, a, this improves your ability to fade. So I'm guessing Silky Shooter also does improve your ability to fade outside of the post. So that's interesting. Um, but... Yeah, uh, this is a really one. This is one that's just already gonna be hard for post scores to get because a lot of post scores are not gonna have that 85 per minute defense. You're gonna have to be like one of those 1v1 dominant builds that's like putting post on like a smaller build, like a 6'8, a 6'7, compared to what usual post scores are like 7 foot 3. So I would probably have to say if you can use it, okay. I'm gonna still put it D though, cause it's not likely. It's just not likely, in my opinion. Featherly touch, close shot, driving layup. This is probably the better of the layup ones. That one you got, yeah. I would say this is the better of the layup ones, but I don't think it's much better. I would just put it that much better. It's just over it. That's it. Finisher, driving layup, driving dunk, and vertical. This is a really good one because you get vertical, driving dunk, and layup. You need an 80 layup, an 85 step driving dunk, and a 75 vertical. Um, I think a lot of builds will actually be able to get this. I'm going to honestly put it. What did I put the other vertical one that has driving dunk, standing dunk? This one has driving layup, driving dunk. I think standing dunk is more important than driving layup, so I would put this right here. I'll put it behind Dr. Duncanstein, which is a crazy name. Um, next, we have Finesse. Finesse. You get Lethal Layup, which is one of the okay takeovers. It just depends on if you're using it or not, in my opinion. Driving Layup, Ball Handle, and you get Mid Range. 80 Mid Range, or no, 80 Mid Range, 80 Ball Handle, 80 Driving Layup. That's what you need for it. I don't think you get really anything of crazy importance. We're just going to rank it in accordance to the other layup ones. I personally will put it above Bully. But, ooh, Bully has strength. I will put Bully above it. I will put Feathery Touch above it too. Flash, you get Spear Ball and Speed. Speed is very good. You had Driving Layup and Ball Handle. I will put Flash above those. Would I put Flash in S? Because you do get speed with it. All three aren't you aren't extremely important in my opinion. You do have one of the best takeover abilities. I'm gonna put that in S and I'm gonna put it above rim. I'm gonna put it above eraser. I'm gonna put that in S. Cause you do get you get plus seven to speed with ball and plus seven to speed. That's a pretty big deal. That's a pretty big deal in this game. That plus seven the ball handle doesn't do much for you though. I'm, I'm, I may keep that A. I may keep that A because I don't think that's as drastic of an improvement to those bills as this that eraser bill eraser bill is to them six sevens. Them six sevens that literally only get eighty four block meet that requirement perfectly, and they get that plus fifteen to get ninety nine, and you get a really important takeover that helps the build. I don't really think you. This is the. We'll see if this is the best one for the build. If that is the best one, I'll put it S. Fluid Shooter, Marksman, 75 mid-range, 85 three balls. The requirement, Marksman is not one of the better takeovers, but you do get plus eight three ball. Plus eight three ball is a pretty important thing. Now, there is another one that is Silky, Silky Shooter. 
that is better. But you do get plus a three ball on this. Any amount of three ball. Now, this is what I say according to the three ball. If you get the one that only gives you three ball, you only can get plus 10 to three ball. So plus eight compared to that is a pretty big deal. So any addition you can get to three ball is a pretty big deal in this game. In comparison to all these other like driving dunks, layups, that's a difference. So I would actually say, I would actually say it's behind it only because of Marchman. I'm gonna actually put it at the back because Marchman is just bad. I'm not gonna lie, Marchman is just bad. Well, it's not bad. I would just say, me personally, I don't see the point. If you can get Deep Bomber, put on Deep Bomber, in my opinion. I just don't see the point. Uh, let me say that. Deep, post bag, fundamentals, you get mid-range, post control, and close shot. Um, I think the better ones you can probably get for post would be close, some type of combination of close shot, post control, where you would either get standing dunk with that or strength with that. I don't think mid-range is the one. Mid-range is another good one. That would probably be the third one I would put with that. But I would probably rather the other two first. Post, deep post bad is really good, though. Deep post bad is really good. I would put this above diesel. No, I wouldn't. Let's see. You need an 80 post control already to begin with. So you're already going to have an 80 post control off rip. And you get... Yeah, I'm gonna put it behind Diesel. I'm gonna put it behind Diesel. I do think Deep Post Bag is better than Interior Force, but I think what you're getting as a whole is better because you're getting strength, standing dunk, and close shot, in my opinion. Like, if this had this with Deep Post Bag, I think this would be better. I think this would be better, but it is what it is. Uh, Fortress. Three pointer and strength. I don't really see anybody ever really having this because you need a. I guess it's more so locks, but look, this is a big man one. So actually, for the bigs, 85 strength with 75 three ball, that's actually that's actually a good one. Um, because I doubt there's another blockade that actually does give you three ball. Let me see. Is there another blockade that gives you three ball? There's not that many blockades to begin with. Yeah, this is the three-point shooting blockade, I believe. So with that being said, it gives you three ball plus eight, and it's already pretty tough to shoot on these builds. I would probably have to say this is S tier. I would probably have to say this is S tier, to be honest, because that's probably the best one for blockade. That's probably the best one for blockade, most likely. Spoiler, you get steel, three ball. That's a pretty good one for locks. You get plus eight steel, plus eight three ball. That's pretty, it's pretty overpowered. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, the only other one that probably would be even in consideration is if you could get steel, speed, and agility. But I don't know if that's a thing. Let's see. I'm gonna I'm just do this. I'm gonna rank it A for now. I'm gonna rank it A for now. I'm gonna put it. Now, it's not going to be over any of these with speed with ball, to be honest. The speed with ball ones are just crazy. I'm just, I'm sorry. Those speed with ball ones are just crazy. Barbecue chicken, this is kind of more so what I was saying. I would rather have, instead of the mid-range, you get the deep post bag, you get the strength, you get the close shot, you get the post control. I think this is a very good combination. I think this is a very good combination. I would probably have to put this above diesel. I would probably have to say this is... I'm going to be honest. I don't know why I have a finisher this high. I'll put this behind Diesel. I will put this. That has standing up and vert. It's not a lot of big men that's going to be able to get Dr. Duncan Stein. I'm kind of overrating this pass accuracy one to a little bit. I'm going to put this one back here with the layups and then now that we did all that i may actually put this in b well i'm gonna keep it here for now i'm gonna keep it here for now glass gunner glass gunner 75 three ball 85 offensive rebound or 85 defensive rebound so this is like 
the rebounding. This is another one that's really good for bigs, but the only thing is you're getting marksman, which is not drastically improving your ability to shoot. So I would say for bigs, it's very good the pluses you get because you don't because you, you need the ore for the requirements, but you get all three for the boost. So you actually get all this from level one to level five. And you're actually getting plus eight on the three ball. So this is really one of the best ones in the game for shooting in general. So I would actually say this is even better than the, the uh, Gifted Hands. Honestly, I would probably even say it's better than these blurs besides this one. Flash one. All right, now glue. Now glue, now this is kind of giving me the thought that Vice is kind of like Deep Bomber, where they kind of felt like this was going to be the better of the two for the takeovers of the locks. But... Vice, you need a pretty high perimeter defense. So they already kind of instituted this is going to have to be the lock take for people that have really high stats. So to have this, you have to have a 90 perimeter defense, an 85 steel, and a 70 strength alone. Now, you get one of the better takeovers for locks. You get steel, perimeter defense, and strength, which are all three very important to locks. I would probably have to say glue... For locks is really good. Um, I don't think it's as... I think there is one that I think I use on my lock that's better. But this one is really good. I would probably have to put this A. I don't think I can put it above the one that gives you three, both three ball and steel. But this does give you perimeter defense, which is very important on this game. If you played this game, perimeter defense is so important. Steel, which is, again, important, but not as important as perimeter defense and three ball to me. And strength which is again very important in my opinion on locks so i will probably have to say because it does give you printed defense steel and strength i think the strength in printed defense outweighs the three ball i'd say um but i'll stop it there because then we kind of get into tough territory it kind of gets into tough territory glass warrior office rebound and defense rebound but you get it offense rebound, defense rebound, and block. So that's a pretty good one. That's a pretty good one. So people that really is on the glass, but you want to get blocks, you get that. You need a pretty solid block. So you need an 85 block, an 80 rebound, or or an 80 offense rebound, or an 80 defense rebound. Either or. It doesn't really matter. As long as you have one of the two with the 85 block, you'll be fine. Um, and you get plus eight to all of them. So the rebounds ones, you actually get plus eight like it's two different categories. So I like that, but it's only so high I can personally put this one. I would put this more so B. I do think that's pretty good for bigs, especially insides. Like this is more of an inside one. Or I guess this could be more so for like the, the stretch bigs that's making like Wimby builds that want more rebound. That could be good. I can see that being used for those. Honestly, that's a really good one for those. So I'll actually put this one here. I'll put it there. I'll put it there. I'll put it there and B. Next is Great Wall. This is pretty much screen setting badge. You're getting strength on it. Um, I feel like a lot of builds this year are going to get this because 85, I think, is what you need for a certain a movable enforcer. I think that's gold, a movable enforcer. I could be wrong, but I think that's gold. I could be wrong, though. And, yeah, I think a lot of people are going to be able to have that. Now, strength is not that hard to get on a lot of builds like the block is to get on those six seven. So, I don't think it's going to be able to have as big of a jump as that. But I do think strength, getting that plus 15 is nice. But... The thing is, like, I don't know if people are going to do that. I don't think people find the importance in strength as much as they find the importance in some of these other stuff. So I'll say strength is more important than standing up, me personally, especially getting the pluses to it. But I would personally put it here. I'll put it there. With, right behind Silky Shooter. Block A, this is one that you're getting rebound and strength, but you're getting this take. I think this is probably the best take for the rebounders. I like it more than see the future, personally. Um, and you're getting strength and rebound on it. So you're getting plus 8 rebound, plus 8 strength. Um, I would put this, 
Okay, so the other one that you got, you got Marksman on this one. It was another one like this that I put B. It is here, Rim Guardian. So you get three different takeovers here. Where did I put it? I don't even know where I put it. It's here. So it would be B. But you get block rebound on this one. This one you get strength and rebound. I personally think Rim Guardian is more important. But blockade is better. I don't know, actually. That's a tougher one. I think I don't remember which one I even ranked above, and I just did that. So I actually put it neck and neck. You it, this one is a preference. This one is a preference thing, I would say. I would say the one that gives you three ball is better though. That's invaluable, in my opinion. You know, but I will say these takeover abilities are better. So you really could argue these are, are, are A2. They're at least in the same tier because the takeover abilities are better than the marksman one. So I'll put them A tier. I'll put those A tier. Um, Intimidator. This is an old badge, but they now have it as a takeover. Tier defense, block, and strength to get it. You're going to be also getting those as boosts. You get Rim Guardian. This is a really good one if you had vertical alongside it, but strength is very important this year for interior defense as well. So that's a tougher one. But getting interior defense on your build this year is very important. Sim it's same thing for um, the locks. You need perimeter defense to get good shot contests on the perimeter. Interior defense is very important to have good shot contests on the interior. And also when you have higher interior defense, it feels like it's less likely you'll fall for jumps, but you still will jump. I will say that, but you're less prone to it. So, yeah. I would say Rim Guardian or Intimidator. I would put I would put this personally at the top of, not that top of B. I'm going to put it at A, but I will put it, I'll put it here. Yeah, I'll put it there. Horse. You still have a lot more to go over, by the way. Horse, vertical, offensive rebound, defense rebound. This is a very good one. This is the best one of those three. This, this is literally, you cannot do any better than this, in my opinion. I would put this one, where is it? I'll put this above this one, strictly because Marksman is not as good as see the future. They're both not that crazy to me, but... It really depends on which one you prefer. Do you prefer three ball? Do you prefer vertical? I personally would prefer vertical because vertical is going to make your rebounding ridiculous. And I just think that combination is better, personally. Um, Kryptonite. Kryptonite is probably the best speed with ball combination you get. You get speed, speed with ball, and driving dunk. So if your build has poster machine, this is probably the best one you possibly can get. Only thing is, I would say this one is better because you get blur. But if you're a build that if you're a person that wants post machine, you won't drive and dunk, that's the best one. That's the one I use for sure on my post machine one. Uh, the build that I am using post machine on, I am using Kryptonite. So I can get the drive and dunk, speed ball, and speed. I would personally say blur is even better for slashers, though, than post machine. That's just me though. But yeah. If you're gonna use post machine, this is by far the best one. That's the by far the best one. Then also say there, layup guru. This is actually a really good one. So if you're a person that's gonna want to do this, I think this is like the one that I would personally recommend the most. I'm looking at them. Yeah, I would put this above all those. I would probably um I've been done pass accuracy. You get that pass accuracy. That's really what's tough against that one. This one, you get speed, three ball, and mid range. This is really good for off ball, to be real. Um, mid range, three ball, speed. This is tough because speed is very good off ball. So I'll say. You get three ball, I'll put it B. I'll put it B, but I'll put it at the top of 
be. Because it's Marksman. If it was a better table ability, I could put it B or A. But I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't even say it's the best one for Marksman either. So, yeah. Lethal Layup. You get Driving Dunk in, in Layup on this one. Um, attacking, I guess, is what it's actually called. Not Lethal Layup, but yeah, you kind of get what I'm saying here. I will put Attacking... I'll put attacking here, personally. Deep post bag, you get driving layup, post, nah, this one is not it. The deep post bag, I will put this one, I'll put this one like down there. For all the leap, the ones that get layup is probably the worst one. It doesn't even make sense. Like, but it, yeah, it doesn't really make sense. Like. This is like for those dirt builds. People that make dirt builds is gonna have like post control, layup, and mid range. Those that's what that's gonna be for. I just don't really deem it necessary to have. I would rather silky shooter on those builds either way. So that would be my thing there. Silky shooter, you get all mid range. Mid range is not auto this year like last year. I would put it in D. Not much there to say there. Vice, you get perimeter defense plus 15. Now, this one is an interesting one because all you need is 84 perimeter defense. And you get it. At the theory that you need it higher, but you don't. So, for the people that kind of do struggle with the shot contest, this is going to have you getting much better bumps, making it harder to separate from you. I would say mirror is not crazy, but in comparison to the other plus 15s, I would put it C, and I would put it right there with this one. I would honestly say it's more important than driving layup. I put it heat over this. Uh, getting that plus. I'll put it right there with the vertical one. Because you get vertical standing up and driving dunk. I don't really know how, how important it would be to even get. I'll give it the edge over it because post machine is not better than vice. I just don't know like what builds is getting or needs plus 15. Now, level 4 plus 12 is enough to really say. But I know there's a lot of builds that go 85 from the defense. Now, how likely are you to go mirror over all these other ones that you can go with? That would be the question for me. I don't know. The thing is that's weird with that. You need an 84 for this. You need an 85 for this. So that's really what's throwing me off. But you need... You get 85 printed defense, 75 strength, 75 agility. I don't think getting plus steel is as necessary as getting all three of these together. Because the strength is going to make your bumps way tougher. Your agility is going to make it way easier to just move. The defensive movement when you have high agility is crazy. And then you have really high printed defense to get good shot contests. So I would personally put this one. I'll put this one above this. Is it better than... I would put it above this. Honestly. I would probably put this one a little bit lower. Yeah, I'll put that one lower. I think three ball and steel is pretty important. I don't know if ball handle and steel ball is important. Steel ball is important. Uh, low key, this can go down a lot more. Looking at it. Um, but yeah, that, that'd be what i do. And then we have mixtape. Mid-range. Steel ball is going to go A. Anything speed ball is going to go A, but mid-range and ball handle, I would put it above Dribble Wizard because you get mid-range too, but like, yeah. I would say that. Pass accuracy, three ball, and mid-range. This is a really solid one, and you get Silky Shooter. I would probably put this one, I will probably put this one at the top of B. I think speed is more important than pass accuracy, but it's close. Not gonna lie, but the takeover ability puts it over the top. Better takeover ability, in my opinion. In my opinion. Orchestrator. Plus 15 pass accuracy. You only need an 80 pass accuracy that I do this. Me personally, I can see this being used a lot more than a lot of these other takeovers. This is an easy A tier. Is it S is the question for me? Um, That's a tougher one. I would have to see the other Dish Master takeover ability takeovers. But for now, 
I would put it. I'll put it over these because of takeover abilities. I'll put it there. Pass accuracy getting plus 15 is a pretty big deal. That's a pretty big deal. In my opinion, that's a pretty big deal. And you're getting a pretty really a pretty solid takeover ability. That's a pretty good. That's a pretty good combination. Um, past perimeter defense, steal, and agility. So for the people that rather steal instead of strength, the people that don't care about this, I'll put it right there with the one that gives you strength. Where's the one that gives you strength? I'll put it right there with the one that gives you strength. I would put I would put nuisance above it, but if you prefer the the steal over it, then you can go with vice or pest instead of nuisance. Yeah, you can go with this instead of it because you get the same thing. It's all the same thing. You get the same takeover ability. It's just you're getting steal instead of strength. I feel like strength is more necessary than steal. You're getting steals regardless, and if you're having a 85. 85 and 75 you're pretty much getting steals already but if you feel like you do need the boost go go this one if you feel like you, it, 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 it really dependent on what you rather so that's what i'll say there that's why i'm putting them neck to neck paint dominance how many more we got a lot more let's get through these paint dominance block rebound see the future personally i would say you get plus eight at level five and you get eight re block and rebound i thought we already did this though i'm not gonna lie did we not already do this i'm gonna put this up there with the other ones i'm gonna put this is block more important than strength for big we did this is glass warrior but you get rim guardian i'd rather rim guardian i'm gonna put them next and neck out i'm gonna put blockade above see the future though i think that's a bigger difference than strength and block so yeah, physicality, you get see the future. Okay. I guess it's just the same thing as those earlier. And you would go here. Cause I think block is more important than strength like I was saying here. But the reason why this is over is because brick blockade is better than see the future. You're getting see the future on both of these. So yeah. Rim guardian, block party. Actually, you're getting these here. I'm going to lower these. Put these in a lower tier just in all together because there's better versions of these already. You're getting one that has Rim Guardian. You're getting one that has Blockade. So I'm going to just put it in a whole different tier. It makes no sense to even put it in the same tier. Thinking about it. So yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, that makes sense for me. Block Party, Block, Vertical, and Interior Defense. This is one I was really looking for. And you do you have the ability to get this. You just need a 90 block. For this, you need a 65 Vertical. 80 interior and 90 block pretty high but some low requirements um this is a really really good one the combination of everything that you get on it is pretty important i would say in terms of rim guardian this is the best one we've seen so off that it has to go here minimum but then the fact that it's one of the better combinations you can get as a big man big man I will put it in S personally. And like I said, I will put it over. I think that's the best Rainbow Guardian we've seen. So I will put it S. I'll put it S. Pickpocket. Spoiler. You get steel and perimeter defense. Um, I think there's one that's steel and perimeter defense. Up here already for spoiler. Am I tripping? No, there isn't. So, there's ones for Vice. I guess that is a, I think those are kind of close to the same tier. I think three ball is more important though. So, that's just what it is. Close shot pass accuracy and post control. Dish master. I guess it's for like post scores that want to pass. So, this is the one for you guys. You get up to plus seven on it as well. Um, post conductor, I would probably have to say post conductor. Um, personally, no, I'm gassing this one for the past accuracy one that I had. It's behind. I mean, dish master is better, so I'll put it there. I'll put it there. I'll put it above the post machine one, powerhouse. Close shot and standing dunk. Really dominant combination. 
diesel you get both of these and strength so i would rather that i may put it behind it i think there's another one that gives you standing up on here though i'm not seeing it so i think i did that right all right satellite three ball speed we already went over this earlier i think this, this is actually the one i use i use satellite satellite is the one i actually use because you get speed satellite is the one i genuinely actually use i don't use the one that gives you ball handle mid range and three ball me personally i think this one is a s damn near s i'm not gonna say s um i'll put it at the back because blur is better than deep bomber speed ball is more important but the combination of speed and three ball is better than just having speed ball so i'll put it above these two now the rest of those kind of tough kind of tough to put it over skilled slasher driving layup driving dunk three ball post machine you get this is for the the, the slasher builds that want three ball i just don't see the point you can go with it in other ways in my opinion so I guess if you still want to have post machine, but I don't think post machine is really worth it. It will be here, I believe. Yeah, that's where it would go. Yeah, that's where it would go. Silky shooter, you need ball handle. Yeah, this one is going to be lower. There was another silky shooter down here. It's down here. Um, Silky shooter. Ball handle, driving layup, mid range. Don't really like it, actually. Personally. But for the people that do think it's important, I'm going to put it in C. Um, driving dunk, speed, and agility. This is a very good one. I'm going to be honest, the poster machine, the only reason that's keeping it high is the fact that it gets some really good ones. Like, it gets agility, speed, and driving dunk. There was a different one that had driving dunk, speed, and speed with ball. Like, if there was one that actually did speed, agility, and speed ball, that would probably be the best one in the game. I'm not going to lie. But, yeah. Um, this one is a B off the simple fact that it gets those three together. Like, so, yeah. Three ball, deep bomber. Yeah, 89 three ball to even use it. And you get plus 10 to your three. That's a really good one. I may actually start using this one, to be honest. Like... But I'm not going to lie, I think having that plus 7 to 3 ball and speed may be more important than just having that extra plus 3, but no speed, no mid-range. That's a tougher one. That's a tougher one. And you have a higher requirement to even get satellite. So that's a that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Um, Marksman, I would put... Mark, you get plus 10, so... I, Oh, plus 10 to 3 ball is always going to be at least B. So I, it's not only so high, low I can put that. Um, you get layup, close shot, post control. I don't really like the ones that you get layup. Where's the one that had mid range though? Instead of close shot, I'll put it above that and all these layup ones. No, I'll put it above this one. Yeah, I'll put it above this one. But besides that one, I'm chilling. Actually, no, because mid-range is actually more viable than driving layup. But I guess there are some ways that you can... I guess this is dependent. This is this is dependent on how you play. This one, this is the Cedar feature, but you get plus 12 to rebound. So you get plus 12 offensive rebound, plus 12 defensive rebound. I would put this one pretty high because offensive rebound is pretty important. And the thing is, you can use this to get your... So Bills that's not having a lot of offensive rebound, you don't even need both. You need one or the other to even get it. And I think that's an 85 offensive rebound or 85 defensive rebound. So you need one or the other to get it. So that's a pretty important one I would probably have to put at the back of A. Because there's a lot of Bills that's not going to have as high of offensive rebound this year because it's just hard to do it. Or high as defensive rebound, because some people just put their offensive rebound way higher. So if you want to get either one of those things up, this is a really good thing to do. It's a really good thing to do. Three ball, interior defense. Marksman. This is more so for bigs. I probably have to say this one, since you are getting plus eight, I'll put it in B. SWAT specimen, you get, I'll put this one right there with it in B. They get marksman. 
The takeover ability is just bad, but getting plus eight to three ball, you cannot undersell that. It's pretty important to do this year. Drive and dunk and steal for spoiler. I think this is one of the worst ones you can get for spoiler, but it is spoiler, so I would probably put it. I would probably put it. These are better. These are better. This gets three ball. I'll put it above this one. But yeah, not higher than any of the other ones, in my opinion. Interior defense, block, and defense rebound. So this is a really good combination. The commander is one that is very popular. I think this is actually an S tier one, for sure. Um, some of these are going to slide up. Um, so this gets interior block and defense rebound. This one gets three ball and strength. That's a tough combo. I don't even remember which one I had more important. So I'll put it like this because you get the three instead of just the two. Oh, but getting three ball on bigs probably is more important for them shooting bigs. This is six, seven dependent. So I'm going to actually put that at the back. You get interior defense block and vert. That's crazy combination, man. I don't think people understand. That's a really crazy combination. I would rather have the vert than the rebound, personally. Because the vert is going to make your rebound just much. Having plus seven vert is just going to make a bigger difference than having plus seven rebound. It just is. The rating doesn't really matter to me. I've always said this. The rating, the thing that matters is vertical and your tier of badge. You're using the rating to get to a tier. As long as you have a solid vert and a solid tier, you're going to be snagging. So I would probably put more importance on this. So actually, yeah, I'm going yeah, I'm gonna, that's why I'm going to put this about that. But yeah, I'm going to keep it like this. Um, is there any more? Okay, some of these don't have any more. So the deep bomber, the best deep bomber is going to go up. I'm going to actually put this to S. I'm going to put this. Is there any more vice? No, there's no more vice. So what's the best vice I had? The best vice I had was a tie, I believe. I, no, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Yeah, it was a tie. This one has perimeter defense, steel, and strength. This one has, no, the one, it has to have perimeter defense and agility. Yeah, so it has to have a perimeter defense and agility. I personally think this one is better, but I'll put both up there, I guess. I guess I'll put both up there. Um, I guess we can put the bad, okay, so we already have the best Rim Guardian, Blockade, Deep Bomber. All the S tier takeover abilities have to be up there in S. Dishmaster was an S tier. See the Future was an S tier. Marksman was an S tier. Blur was S tier. Is there any more Blur? There is more Blur. I don't think that's going up there. So we can actually, I, yeah, I thought Flash was the best one, but I wasn't 100% sure. I think we can put Flash up there. Flash would probably be the best one in the game. Flash is probably the best one in the game. I'm not gonna lie. Flash is probably the best one in the game. Kryptonite is actually an S tier. It's just the take of ability is bad. This master is probably S tier too. This is probably S tier too. This is probably S tier. And that's what I'll do for now. That's what I'll do for now. Um, spoiler, you get plus 15 to steal. Plus 15 to steal is kind of crazy. I'll put this one. I'll put this one at the top of B. This master pass accuracy, ball handle, and speed with ball. So you get speed ball and pass accuracy. This is the best dish master. I'll probably put this one in S tier, to be honest. And I will put it above this one and this one. But this is probably the best dish master. So I actually would put this back down there. Because that's probably the best dish master. Because you get speed ball and pass accuracy. So that's pretty nice to have. Not going to lie. Yeah. Guardian. Um, stilt, interior defense, block, and standard dunk. Ah, uh, it's okay. Where would I put it? You get interior defense. If it was block, if it was vertical, somewhere. I don't know what you take out, though. I guess we already seen that. That's block party. I will put it over this one. No, this one gets vertical. All three of these are important. Driving dunk is not important. So I'll do that. I'll put it C. Three point architect. 
This one. Oh, this is ball. This is a blur that doesn't even get speed with ball. I didn't even know that was a thing, to be honest with you. Because, look, all the other blurs get speed with ball. This is the worst one for sure, but it's still blur. But it's not better than these two. Not better than that. Not better than that. Probably better than the rest of these, though. Probably better than the rest of these. Then you have three and D. This is prob. This is the one. This is one of the best marksman ones in the game. This is the first one I got on the game. You're getting primitive defense, three ball, and agility. All three of those are very important. This is one of the best lock ones. I would probably say this is S tier. And I will put it above these two. I'll put it above this. I'm not going to lie. I'll put it above this. Because all three of these abilities are important. The marksman is holding it back from being better than the two vice ones. That's what I'll say. Um, and then we have trifecta. Driving layup. Drop three ball. And mid range. Lethal layup. This is a lethal layup that gets three ball. This is probably the best layup one in the game. So I'll put it there. Above all the layup ones. Block A, close shot, standing dunk, strength. I'll put this B. To be honest. B and C are filled to the max. Nah, I'll put this. I'll put this down here. Where's where's Diesel? I think Blockade is better than Interior Force. Personally. Um, debatably better than Deep Post Bag. I think it's more usability. I'll put it above both of these. Because all three are pretty useful. Close shot, standing up, and strength. Yeah, all three are pretty useful. Um, Interior Force. Close or standard dunk, office rebound, and yeah, I'll say this one. This is another one that's pretty useful. Where was the one I just did? I'll put it right there. I think office rebound is pretty important this year, so I'll put it there. Then you have Xanos, driving dunk, standard dunk, close shot. This one is not. I think the close shot, standard dunk is always going to be pretty good. There was one that was literally just close shot and standing dunk. Yeah, it's this one. I'll put it above Powerhouse. And that's it. Break Igniter. Dish Master on it. You need 85 pass accuracy or, or, not, not or. 85 pass accuracy and either of offensive rebound, defensive rebound being 85. You need one of those two. So, you get pass and rebound on it. This is for, like, those bigs that really love to throw the break. I'll put it B. I'll put it B. And then you have, like, a lot of these are very build specific. And then, and then you have this that's pretty much a C. So, this is the tiers. This is S tier where you have, bro, it's 71 takes. I understand this video is probably long. Dropping this on my birthday. Y'all got to cut me some slack. I've been working on this all day because to put all this together, I did all this myself. I had to put all this together. Day before my birthday, I had to make the video day before my birthday. So y'all gotta cut me some slack. Some of this stuff may not be readable, but I broke it down together. Hopefully y'all can at least see the names of the takeovers. If you can't see the names of the takeovers, I I genuinely don't know what to say, man. I really don't. But yeah, um, we got Flash, all these Flash to Glass Gunner in S, Orchestrator to Board Beast in A, the Claw to Break Igniter in B, Mirror to bucket in C, and then you have fearless focus to above the rim in D. All of these are just my opinion, um, based on my preference. Some of this stuff you can, I put side by side because I can see people liking the other more, but I personally like the one I had in front of it. That's just what it is. There may be some inconsistencies here and there. There's 71 different takeovers that give you up to three different things on every single takeover with 14 different takeover abilities. So yeah. If there's any problem with that, I don't know what to say. But hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Like the video. Subscribe if you're new. A lot of time was put into this video. I've worked on this all day. 
was against the clock trying to get this done before the birthday because I ain't trying to do none of this on my birthday. So I appreciate y'all boys that did support. If you didn't already like the video, simple as that. Um, hopefully you guys like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Um, I will be doing my 2K review video next. I'm taking a break though because today is my birthday. Let me say that again. But yeah, without further ado, man, it's your boy Fitz. I'm about to be mad. I got digital dash, came right with a up. I walk in the store and I buy the stock. I hide in the bins and pull out the lot. Got to find the diamond, it cost me a lot. They flying like birds. Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah!